Justin Dunk back here with you. Matt Cause is on vacation, so I'm filling in. He's left me with a tough week here, trying to set my fantasy roster for week nine under a million. Let's look at the question marks for week nine. There's a few of them. Shakir Bell could be in or out. Darius Bowen is back at practice. Does he get back into the lineup? CJ Gable, we all know, is out for the Tie Cats. So they could maybe go with Nick Grigsby over Ray Hawley this week. That's a situation to monitor. And the other one is Bakari Grant. He was out in week eight for the Tie Cats, and we all know how productive a touchdown scorer he's been for the Tie Cats. So keep it locked to at CFL on Twitter for all of your latest injury updates regarding fantasy this week. Now for my roster in week nine, let's get to it. First, I'm going to start with Bo Levi Mitchell at quarterback. He's putting the football in in the end zone with consistency. I love this matchup with Mitchell against the Riders. Now you're going to notice a little bit of a theme here. I'm riding the Stampeders this week at running back. I like Matt Walter, bit of a value play here, but I think Calgary could get ahead in this ball game and let him get a bunch of carries. And I have a sneaky feeling Walter gets in the end zone this week. Now let's keep it going with Calgary. Eric Rogers, speaking of the end zone, seems to find himself there at least once every single game. He's almost a lock to put up six points for that Calgary team. I love Rogers going into Regina to at least get a touchdown. It seems like he's always around that 100 yard mark as well. Next up in my flex position, I'm going with Austin Cauley. He had a couple touchdowns last week in Hamilton. He seems to have quickly developed a rapport with Travis Lule. I think Cauley can make some hay in the middle of the field in that slot position. For my value play this week, and you saw him make a big play against BC just a week ago, Tyquan Underwood made a huge touchdown catch and run for the Ticats. I think he's starting to get more involved in this Ticats offense, and it seems like he's fully healthy after coming back from injury. For my kicker this week, I'm going to Toronto and taking Ronnie Pfeffer. He's been as consistent as can be since filling in for Swayze Waters, and I like him against a Red Blacks team that gave up 48 points last week. I think there'll be a lot of opportunities for Pfeffer to kick him through the uprights. For my defense, I'm going with the Ticats. Yes, they're the most most expensive, but man, they almost score at will. They had seven defensive touchdowns. That is more than any single player in the CFL. Andrew Harris has six, as does Eric Rogers. I love the Ticats in this game. They force turnovers. They get in the end zone. They bring up the sacks. This unit has been flying around making plays. So I can't go with another defense until the Ticats unit slows down. That's my lineup for week nine. It does meet the qualification. I'm under a million, so hopefully I do good enough that the next time Mr. Cause decides to take a vacation, I will be invited back to help you with your picks again. Good luck in week nine. <laughs> Hamilton at Edmonton, the marquee matchup of the week. A couple of division leaders going head to head. 